I must have picked the windiest day. What's up, my YouTube fam? My YouTube fam? My YouTube fam? What's happening, everybody? I hope you're having a really good day. Uh, I wanted to bring you something a little bit different today. It's the anti-editing tutorial. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let's take a walk and I'll tell you. If you've ever spoken the words, I need to learn split frequency retouching before I can charge more, I want you to punish yourself by eating a piece of broccoli. The first question that you need to ask yourself is, what am I editing this picture for? Is it for a magazine? Is it for a billboard? Is it for Instagram? In my case, it's for client albums. You can spend an hour on each photo that you make, but is it necessary? Now I wanna show you how to accomplish the most while doing the least in Lightroom. Let's go. I'll bet you thought the next scene we were gonna be like editing on the computer. Well, before we get to that, we have to talk about the very first step and that is getting a quality image. If your image was when you took it, it's gonna be when you edit it. So if you need help with boudoir posing or general lighting, I've got tutorial videos on those that are gonna be in the description. So tip two is be ruthless in your culling. I know it can be difficult sometimes to choose between two images, but go with your gut. Remember that a client won't miss a picture that isn't there. The key to editing through your images really quickly is to start at a place that makes your images pretty much finished. You do this with a preset. So find a preset that you love. For me, it's the Do More Wear Less presets for Lightroom, which I'll link in the description below. And a little bonus tip, you can actually bring your images into Lightroom with that preset already applied. So let's do that now. You can import your images with your preset already applied. In my case, I'm gonna choose the Do More Studio presets. However, I've actually already imported these images. So here's the image straight out of camera. And here it is with the preset already applied. This allows me to start from a place that's pretty much ready to sell. Tip four for speeding up your workflow is to use the up and down arrow keys to adjust your sliders. You can see when I roll over the sliders, how they light up. You can then press up and down arrow keys to make your fine adjustments. Now you can use the left and right arrows to navigate, the up and down arrows to make your adjustments without your hand ever leaving your keyboard or mouse. Tip number five is what I would consider the most underrated tool in Lightroom. It's the radial filter. Set your exposure to 0.3, then click and drag over her face. It's basically like shooting with a reflector. You guys, look at this amazing change that took place in only six seconds of editing. All right, let's take a look at it with this image. Use Shift M to quickly get to your radio filter. Now we wanna bring down the overall highlights, but up the overall exposure here, and now we have our finished image. All right, one last example. We're just gonna darken this up, bring down the shadows to add a little contrast, and then brighten her face for a finished image. Okay, very last example, just honestly an exposure adjustment, and that's it. Okay, so of course Photoshop is way more powerful with skin retouching, but this is the anti-editing tutorial. I use the spot removal to get rid of any larger blemishes. Then we're gonna use a software called Portraiture to smooth out everything else. That's pretty much all I'm gonna do. Uh, everything right here on her leg, all these inconsistencies are gonna get taken out with portraiture once I run the action. Couple things like this in here. Yeah, pretty much everything else is gonna get taken out when I run portraiture. Step seven is to sync your similar images. So we're gonna bring down the shadows on this one to add some contrast. We're gonna bring the highlights up to really make her skin tone shine and then hold down shift and use the arrow keys to select your similar images. Now to sync these without using your mouse, the hotkey is command shift S. Just make sure your crop and spot removal options are not checked. Now let's do a quick export. And open up Photoshop. All right, Portraiture is an amazing piece of software, so let's duplicate this layer and I'll show you what it does. It automatically finds the skin tones and smooths out all of the inconsistencies. The default settings are really good, so we're just gonna use them. So that's probably a little too much skin smoothing, so I'll lower the opacity to 50%, I'll merge these layers, and then I wanna save that out. But honestly, that's way more work than I want to put into each image. What if we could just run a batch on all of these images and have Photoshop do all of that work for us? All right, so what Photoshop's doing right now is it's duplicating our layer, running the portraiture action, setting the opacity to 50%, 
merging those layers and saving over the original file all about three seconds per image. Now again, this is really only doing about 80 to 90% of the quality that frequency retouching would be doing. But honestly, if you're not shooting for a magazine or a billboard, you're just shooting for your client images, this is gonna be more than enough. If you want that portraiture action, I'm going to make it available for download in the description. You still need to purchase portraiture separately, but once you have portraiture, that action will run through the process for you. You guys, that pretty much wraps it up. I hope you learned uh, some faster ways to edit. I hope you've rethought your editing process, and I hope you are excited for many more tutorials. So in the comments, let me know what you want to learn, and I will put together a video answering exactly that question. If any of you have thought about starting a boudoir business but don't know where to start, or if you're part-time looking to go full-time, I have some educational material linked below where you can check out kind of going through my entire client process start to finish, how I got started in boudoir. And until next time, you know, get out there and create. Go shoot, you guys are photographers. Stop watching YouTube. <laughs>